So 2012 was a very interesting year for the MLP space. It actually represented the first year in 13 years that the uh, MLP stocks underperformed the S&P 500. And while that winning streak versus the S&P 500 was broken, the growth story uh, for MLPs was far from broken. Oil production actually ended the year up 15% versus expectations going into the year of it being up 10%. Natural gas liquids production was up 12% and natural gas production was up 6%. And with that continued uh, surge in U.S. energy production, there was a resultant build out of infrastructure, much as we expected. I'm very often asked, are we in the early innings or the late innings of the MLP growth story? And the reality is that we're very much in the early innings. Why do I say that? If you look at the underlying oil and gas companies that are actually uh, increasing production volumes of oil, natural gas liquids, and natural gas, if they did nothing but maintain their current level of drilling activity, they have over 20 years of prospect inventory remaining to drill. This is not a one-year story, it's not a five-year story, it's not even a 10-year story, it's actually a multi-decade story. As such, I feel very comfortable asserting that we're in the early innings of growth as it pertains to infrastructure. So why did MLPs be behave uh, not as well as the S&P 500 over the course of 2012? I think mostly it was due to uh, issues in the fourth quarter of the year pertaining to uncertainties in Washington. There was uncertainty as to what would happen with the capital gains tax rate. There were expectations, obviously, that it would go up. In fact, it did go up, but there was certainly selling pressure of MLP stocks to potentially lock in a lower capital gains tax rate in 2012 ahead of the expectation that it would go up in 2013. There was also some misconceptions out there about what the increase or potential increase in the dividend tax rate would mean for MLPs. MLPs do not pay dividends, they pay distributions, and distributions are taxed differently than dividends. As such, while we did see some selling pressure on fears that the dividend tax rate went up, would go up rather, those fears were largely misplaced because MLPs do not pay dividends and as such had no impact from the dividend tax rate ultimately being uh, increased uh, into uh, 2013. So how do things look going into 2013? Well, from a fundamental perspective, as we talked about before, oil production is continuing to grow, gas production is continuing to grow, natural gas liquids production is continuing to grow, and as a result of that, the infrastructure build out that we've already seen will certainly play out in 2013, and for that matter, for years to come. So valuation, how does valuation look? Interestingly, the Alarian MLP index entered 2012 at roughly 400. It also entered 2013 at roughly 400, yet, Distributions were 7% higher entering 2013 than they were in 2012. Balance sheets were in better shape. Distribution coverage ratios were stronger than they were a year, year ago. The point simply being that while the index uh, actually entered the year at roughly the same price, the stocks were cheaper, balance sheets were in better shape, and distribution cover, coverage ratios were even stronger. As a result of that, I don't think it's all that surprising that in the early days of 2013, MLPs have performed exceedingly well relative to the S&P 500. 